Good morning everybody. Story time again. I hope you've all had a good sleep and are ready to listen to a lovely story. Today's story is called What the Ladybird Heard and it's by Julia Donaldson and it's illustrated by Lydia Monks. It's a lovely story. There's the farmyard. Oh, so it's set on a farm. Can you see the tractor? And what's in the back of the tractor? I think it's a cow. How wonderful. Here we go. So, once upon a farm lived a fat red hen, a duck in a pond and a goose in a pen. A woolly sheep, a hairy dog, a handsome horse and a dainty dog. A cat that meowed and a cat that purred. A fine prize cow and a ladybird. And the cow said, moo, and the hen said, Clock, ma. said the goose, and Quack, said the duck, moo, said the horse, <coughs> said the hog, meh, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. One cat meowed, and the other cat purred. And the ladybird said, never a word. But the ladybird saw, and the ladybird heard. She saw two men in a big black van, with a map and a key and a cunning plan. And she heard them whisper, This is our, we're gonna steal the fine prize cow. Oh no. What are they gonna do? What can a ladybird do? Open the gate at the dead of night. Pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond past the hog. Be careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead. And in through the door of the prize cow's shed. My goodness, there's the map. <gasps> Those naughty men. And the little spotty ladybird who never before had said a word, told the animals, this is how two thieves are planning to steal the cow. They'll open the gate at the dead of night, pass the horse and then turn right. Round the duck pond, past the hog, uh, being careful not to wake the dog. Left past the sheep, then straight ahead, and in through the door of the prize cow's shed. And the cow said, moo, and the hen said, bark, said the goose, and quack, said the duck, nee, said the horse, said the hog, ma, said the sheep, and woof, said the dog. And both cats began to meow. We can't let them steal the fine prize cow. But the ladybird had a good idea and she whispered it into each animal's ear. And there she goes, look. She's flying through the air to each animal's ear and she's telling them her plan. All the animals are hearing the plan. 
well done, Ladybird. At dead of night, the two bad men, Hefty Hugh and Lanky Len, opened the gate while the farmer slept and tiptoed into the farm they crept. Then the goose said, Nee! with all her might, and Len said, That's the horse, turn right. The goose sang it, and the dainty dog began to quack, quack, quack. The duck, said Hugh, we're right on track. <coughs> said the cat, there goes the og. Be careful not to wake the dog. Meh, 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 said the fat red hen. The sheep, we're nearly there, said Len. Then the duck on the pond said, Moo, moo, moo. Two more steps to go, said Hugh. Where are they going? Are they going in? I, oh no, trouble ahead for the two bad men. <gasps> and they both stepped into the duck pond. Splash! And the farmer woke and said, Golly gosh. And he called the cops and they came. Nino! And they threw the thieves in the panda car. And the cow said, Moo! And the hen said, Quack! Said the goose and Quack! Said the duck, Nay! Said the horse, <coughs> Said the hog, Ba! Said the sheep, Woof! 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 Said the dog. And the farmer cheered and both cats purred. But the ladybird, she said never a word. <laughs> And there they all are, living very happily on the farm. <laughs> I wonder if any of you live on a farm. If you do live on a farm, maybe you could write down all the different animals and all the different places where they live. I wonder what kind of animals you might find on a farm. Hmm. That's a good thought to have. Maybe you can think about that today. Whatever you're doing, have a really, really lovely day. Bye-bye for now. Bye.